Hello, Kula here. For this video, I have for you guys my fall fortune cookie soap box. I was super excited to get this. Uh, this came yesterday. Uh, they shipped them out like the 3rd or the 4th. And mine said it was supposed to come the 9th, but it came early, which is awesome. Uh, I just really love fortune cookie soaps products. I love the, the uniqueness of their fragrances. Uh, their, you know, the products they stock are really great, especially their whipped creams. Uh, probably my favorite and then next up is gonna be their lip balms. Uh, I have the cupcake lip balm It's just really good like it has a really good like moisturizing feel it makes my lips feel great And I really love it. Uh, so like I said super pumped to get my fall soapbox really wanted to share it with you guys um, The only thing that kind of made me sad about this box is that a lot of these products are more bath based uh, where the summer one they weren't quite so much bath based and it makes sense because fortune cookie soap is a bath company uh, they're comparable to Lush like that's what I would compare them to Lush um, I don't know how they feel about that comparison but it makes sense to me uh, unfortunately I don't really have the ability to take a lot of baths our tub it just doesn't work for baths um, and it, it's kind of gross too like you know we clean it and we bleach it but Eh, not the best thing to take baths in, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to use the bath products. Uh, but it's still really fun to get, I mean, even just for the fragrances alone, as you will see. So let's get started. Uh, this is the card that came with the box. Oh, and one thing, too, it's really great about Fortune Cookie Soap Boxes. Um, they're every, four, every three months, and it's $20 for the box, but you get a coupon that's good for $10 off an order. Uh, so basically the box is like $10, and I was really excited, I was going to start purchasing some stuff, but as I went through my box, I realized like there were some fragrances in here that I really wanted to try in other products. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until they put the fall stuff in the store, and then I'm going to probably buy like one or two whipped cream sampler packs, just so I can get all the different fragrances. Because I really feel like with the, the whipped cream uh, body butters, you really get the true fragrance, like... From what I've smelled, like soap wise versus the whipped creams versus like the mist me's and things like that, like the whipped creams, the scent is the truest. At least I feel. So, I mean, there are some fragrances here I really like in products I might not be able to necessarily use, but I'm gonna buy the whipped creams. I'm also gonna try unicorn farts. Uh, that was one that I was really interested in, but kind of was turned off by the glitter. But someone commented on one of my videos saying it's an amazing fragrance, so I I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. Um, so here we go. The fall soap box shows all the products on the front here in kind of a weird wiggly filter. And then on the back it kind of lists all the products and then kind of a cutesy description of it. One thing I wish Fortune Cookie Soap would do is kind of describe the fragrances maybe a little bit more, maybe talk about notes. Um, but I mean, for what they do it's really great. Uh, you get, I believe it's eight products? I think it's eight products in this box. They're all sample size. Um, which is fun, so I'll kind of just go off of this card and we'll go in the order here. So we'll start with the Pick of the Patch Personal Space Air Freshener, which is this guy here. This product I've actually already used. Um, we made fajitas and it made our kitchen smell um, very spicy, which is great when you're eating fajitas, but not great the next day when you're not eating them. And so I use this to kind of negate that. It actually works really well. It made our kitchen smell like pumpkin which is awesome, you know, with fall coming. I'm not the biggest fan of fall. Uh, I don't really like fall colors. I don't like fall colors in makeup or in clothing. I don't like that it's getting cold. I don't like that it's that things are dying. I find it kind of just depressing. Um, but one thing I love about fall is I love the foods of fall. You know, the pumpkins, like the spice, the warmth, the squash, the, just really hearty foods and the smells of fall. So that's kind of another reason why I was really excited for this box, just because like I just love fall fragrances, and, and a box of just nothing but fall fragrances just really appeals to me. All right, so back to the air freshener here. This um, the little card here it says they say size doesn't matter, but when it comes to pumpkins, the bigger the better, baby. And this it's just it's pump it's like a pumpkin pie spice smell, like it's it's pretty generic I mean for a fall fragrance like it's just pumpkin and it's spice but it's it's good like you can't go wrong well you could technically but a pumpkin pie spice is great it's it's a really robust pumpkin too 
I'm sorry, you're going to hear me sniffing a lot because it's right by the camera microphone, but, you know, I apologize for that. Oh, but, it, I mean, it, it's a very robust pumpkin. Like, it's pumpkin. It's not just pumpkin spice. Like, there's pumpkin and then there's spice, which I really like. So that is a good product. Love that. Next up is the insert cookie cutter name here, Bath Oil. Cookie cutter, schmookie cutter. We kind of pride ourselves on not being cookie cutter around here. Our new fall cookie fragrance is anything but your average cookie scent, filled with luscious goodness and baked vanilla. And it came with this little burlap thing here, which is really cute. I think it was to protect it. Um, but this is a bath oil. I think this is a newer product for Fortune Cookie Soap. Um, I know that they released one with their Magic is Coming collection, and they say, like, what's different about their oil is that it will actually disperse itself in the water. It won't just stay on top. So you pour it under the running water, and I guess it, like, blooms and kind of turns, like, a milky, translucent color, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, Fragrance-wise, it's definitely a cookie scent. There's vanilla in it, and there is actually this, like, really nice kind of undertone of orange. But it's not, like, a sharp citrus orange. It's just, like, a really sweet kind of candy orange. It, it really helps the uniqueness. Like, it's definitely kind of cookie-y, vanilla-y with that sweet just hint of orange. But it's nice. Like, it does smell like a store-bought cookie, but it's not, like, the fakey, super-sugared like just overly saturated cookie stuff you get sometimes. It's really pleasant. I really think the orange really helps with that. So that is a fragrance in a product that I might not get use out of, but this might be one I'd pick up in a whipped cream. So there's that. Next up we have the You're Insecure, Don't Know What For Milk Bath. Uh, you know you saying that when you read it. This yummy cinnamon sugar donut scent will light up your world like nothing else. So that's this guy here. Uh, it is a milk bath. This is another product I unfortunately might not get much use out of, but we'll give this a smell. There is cinnamon, but it's nice because it's not like... The cinnamon, you can smell it, but it's not like the first thing that hits you and it doesn't overpower everything else which can happen with cinnamon, which is good. There's definitely like a milky kind of smell to it. I don't really get the donut though. Like, it just really smells like just like a milky cinnamon, cinnamony kind of like. It's just like milk, like cinnamon milk, which isn't a bad thing. I just don't really get donut. I feel like with a donut scent, you almost want to have like that slightly greasy aspect. Like I know like this sounds really gross to have like a greasy note in a fragrance. But like with the fruit, like in the loop, the Fruit Loop scented one, they put that salty note in there, and that's not something you would think of for a fragrance, but it really makes it smell like exactly like Fruit Loops. And I think if they did something to add that greasy note, like that would smell exactly like a donut. Um, but that is another one I kind of want to get in the whipped cream. And this is probably my favorite product in this. The next one coming up here is the I Am What I Am said the Marshmallow Whipped Cream. Can't you just see an adorable little marshmallow proudly saying this? Because in our world, marshmallows can talk and unicorns fart glitter and rainbows. Yay! So that's this guy here. This is the I Am What I Am to the Marshmallow Whipped Cream. I've used this already. Like, I just... I love their whipped creams. I mean, honestly, like, pretty much any scent I would love this in. And this is, like, nice orangey, very sweet potato-y, yammy colored whipped cream. Oh, but this smells so good. Like, there's, there's brown sugar notes. There's sweetness, but there's like just an underlying like savory cooked, yeah, it's like a savory cookedness underneath it that it just, it doesn't make it sugary, it doesn't make it like searingly sweet. I just want to keep smelling this, like it just, oh, uh, and like sweet potatoes and yams with the marshmallows are like my favorite thing at Thanksgiving, like I just get a whole bunch of it. I'm sorry, I'm just going to keep smelling this. It's, it's really good, like, it's just, it smells delicious, and I would eat this, but there's, like, there's, like, that brown sugar note, the cooked note, the marshmallows, it's, oh, it smells so good, and it smells really good when you put it on, too. I put it on yesterday after my shower, and then kind of throughout the day, I would smell it just a little bit, like, oh, what smells so good? Oh, wait, it's me. So this I love. That one I might just buy just another of it, just because I love it so much. Uh, next up, we have the Leaf Pile Bath Fizzy. Let's face it, jumping into a big pile of leaves sounds like more fun than it actually is. 
uh, it's it's true it does sound like fun and then you do it and then it's like wet and slugs and not the coolest um, with notes of apples and acorns so that's this guy here uh, if you can see in this card it's supposed to come with this cute little leaf stamp on there mine got smooshed and kind of broken but you can still kind of see it um, scent wise I like that like it's 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 a fall scent but it's not like a heady fall scent it's very bright and clean. Actually, you know, this really reminds me, I had a candle from Bath and Body once called Acorn and Fig. And I bought it because I was like, Acorn and Fig sounds like the most bizarre candle ever. And it smelt really good, like it just smelt like a forest. This kind of smells like a really nice forest, I guess is the way to put it. I mean, like, you definitely get the acorn in it. I know it sounds weird, but if you smell it, you, you, you'll get it. Yeah, it's like a woody, nutty kind of hit, and then the apple kind of brightens it up. So that's really cool. I might just throw that in my bathtub and then just, when I'm showering, and then just enjoy the smell. Uh, next is kind of a weird thing. This is something I kind of had to look up. Uh, it's the cranberry plus apple equals for the win wax tart. Of course we're talking about our favorite libation, the Washington apple, a.k.a. the panty dropper. Oh, you mean the fragrance? Yeah, that's good too. So that's this guy here. Let's see, it's a two ounce wax tart, and I looked on Fortune Cookies website, you know, trying to be like, is this like, what exactly is this? And they did a wax tart in the last fall box, their Halloween box, and it was from a company called Sensory Overload. I don't think they did this one, because they actually explicitly put on the card that that one was by the Sensory Overload. But it's kind of it's like, this is one of those things like, you know, you get... It's like a warmer, it's called, and you can get wax melts, and you just kind of put them, and then like you light like a tea light underneath it, and it will melt it, and it will release the fragrance throughout your house. It's kind of like burning a candle without burning a candle, like you can get electronic ones that don't use fire, and that's what I think this is, but it, I mean, it has, it's just, it's a really nice tart cranberry smell with the sweet apple, it just, yeah, it, it's just very, it's a very fall fruit fragrance. You know, some fall fragrances are fresh, some fall fragrances are gourmet, fruity. This is just fruity. This is straight up a fruity fragrance. Like a tart cranberry apple. It smells really good and I can really see this making my house smell great. So, I might have to look into buying myself a warmer and melt this bad boy. So there's that. Uh, next is the Autumn Days Fortune Cookie Soap. Deuces summer till we meet again with notes of apple, cardamom, and pecan. And this this guy here. It didn't come in a bag this time, so it got a little um, gross and roughed up. But it's soap, so soap can't really ever get dirty. But I like how there's like these cute little like leaves in here, very fall esque, scent wise. Oh, I like that. I like the cardamom. I think that really that really adds something unique to it. Yeah, because you, 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 you don't really get a strong sense of, like, anything, but it's like, I know it sounds weird, but, like, everything kind of blends together really well, and I really like that. Like, there is that, that, that soft sweetness of the apple, and there's, like, a nutty warmth from the pecan, but the cardamom, it really tempered, like, it really blends them together. That smells really good. I like that soap. That smells really good. That might be another one I might look into getting a whipped cream of. And the last thing in here is the Indian Summer OCD Hand Sanitizer, aka two more months of sweaty backs and cracks. Uh, hashtag sorry, I'm not sorry. With notes of blueberry, woods, and musk. And that is this guy here. I ended up really liking the OCD hand sanitizer I got in the summer box. Like I was kind of at first like, it was like a mango chili scent and I was like, this is bizarre. But it actually just, it smells really good. Like, I really liked it. I like the OCD formula. Uh, it's, it just makes me feel clean. Like, I have Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. And they, I don't know, there's like a roughness to them. Whereas with this, it's just, it feels a lot more silky. Uh, Fragrance-wise, let's give this one a sniff. Ooh. Nothing in this box smells bad. But then again, I love fall, so... Oh, but this one is just like, it almost smells like there's pine in it, which might be from the woods. Yeah, there's definitely like, so we have another candle um, from Yankee Candle this time. It's called, um, 
oh my god, what is it called? Lakeside Birch. Lakeside Birch. It's like my husband's favorite scent ever, and we always try and like hunt this candle down. Uh, cause it's a discontinued candle, and it's one like his mom gave him a long time ago, and he'd always burn it. Like when we were dating, whenever I'd go over to his apartment, he'd burn it. And it's kind of just become like the scent I associate with him. And this definitely has like that woodsy, woodsy manly smell. But it's not like that, like you know how sometimes they have candles that are like campfire scented? And they're really gross. This is not like that, which is good. Almost. It smells a lot like my aunt's house, too, which is weird. But she has a lot of really fancy potpourri, so that might be why. I like this one, too. I'm just going to keep smelling this. I'm really sorry. I'm just entranced by this fragrance. Yeah, there's like that the really nice woodsy smell. There is, yeah, you do get the hint, if the hint of the blueberry. Like, there's just like a really gentle, like fruit in there. So it's not like straight up musky, up in your face, woodsy, manly scent. It's just that, that tinge of that blueberry. I like that. That's really good. Uh, that might not be one I'd get in like a whipped cream, but as like an OC, like a hand sanitizer or maybe even like the personal space air freshener, that fragrance works really well. Uh, so that is my fortune cookie soap fall soap box once again. Love everything in it. Um, even if I can't use stuff, like, I just love being able to smell it, and I'm definitely gonna buy, like, a bunch of things. So when I do, I'll show you guys what I get. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and that you have a great day.